Dear countrymen, this is 1986 and the 6th of February. On this same day, five years ago, 27 of us left in a lorry from my house, the house in which I was staying in Makindye, and went to attack Kabamba. We had wrecked the target carefully and we knew what was going on inside the barracks. We managed to deceive one businessman into giving us his lorry which could accommodate us as well as cover us from public view because we left in the evening around six o'clock. That lorry was obtained by deception by one of us by the name of Lutaya. We went with that lorry and one or two other vehicles up to Kabamba where two companies of Tanzanians and 1,400 Ugandan trainees were stationed. The Tanzanians were training the Ugandans. There was a big armory there underground which contained a lot of rifles. Those were our targets. But unfortunately, one of us fired a bullet prematurely and one Tanzanian corporal went underground in the Amari, because the Amari is underground, the Amari at Kawamba was underground. He, he went in the Amari and it was difficult to get him out. But nevertheless, we captured the barracks, the whole barracks, the quarter guard, the MTO yard, that is the motor transport yard, the signal center and the administrative center. We took control of the whole barracks and all the Tanzanians who were there and the Ugandans ran away. But we did not get to the main target, which were the guns underground. We however managed to get vehicles from the MT yard as well as some other guns from the houses of the officers and of the soldiers. And we left Kabamba by a fleet of vehicles through Chenjojo, through Bugangese and Buyaga, up to Chiboga, thereby establishing our first base in the war of liberation against the regime of Obote. Now, since that time, our army has grown, grew, until it became the force which you see here now. We defeated 16 enemy offensives in the area of Mubende, Ruero, and part of Mpiji. We defeated 16 offensives by Obote trying to dislodge us. In the end, we caused the downfall of the Obote regime because the coup of, 1927, of 27th of July, 1985, was a direct outcome of our efforts. Because of defeating those 16 offensives, the, some officers of the UNLA and soldiers thought that it was better to remove Obote and reach a settlement with us. Unfortunately, their efforts were thwarted by cunning elements who warmed their way into the military council and denied the young men who had taken the coup the opportunity to talk with us frankly. I'm here referring to elements like Basilio and some other opportunistic elements who warmed their way into the military council, thereby making it impossible for the young boys, the captains and the majors and the NCOs and the soldiers who had staged the 1927 the 27th of July coup, denying, denying them the opportunity to discuss honestly with us. So from that humble beginning, five years ago, we were able to build this force which defeated 16 offensives by the Obote army. At some times, at some of the times, Obote employed as much as 80% of his forces in the whole country against us. By the coup of 27th July 1985, our army has, had destroyed at least 300 vehicles 
of the Obote government of all types. Soft cover vehicles, armored vehicles, helicopters, and so on and so forth. As you all know, after that, we declared a unilateral ceasefire. We stopped shooting at the Okero group which came in in order to give them a chance to reach a peaceful settlement with us. Instead of doing that, they went ahead and started doing things unilaterally, ignoring us com completely. Until on the 24th of August, we decided to launch a limited offensive against them, which resulted in the liberation of Kasese and Fort Porto, and in the liberation of Kiboga, and in attacks on Busunju, uh, Matuga, and Ruero. After that limited offensive, the Okero group and their main elements who had allied themselves with that group agreed to talk with us in Nairobi. But their talking with us was not honest, it was dishonest, they were playing tricks. Because while they were talking with us in Nairobi, at the same time they were importing massive supplies of arms. At the same time, they, they brought up to 20,000 or more Amin soldiers from Sudan and tried to use them to thwart the liberation of the people of Uganda. Now, because of those tricks, we again launched another offensive on the 12th of September, 1985. This time, we attacked Mubende, Mbarara, and eventually we attacked Masaka and came up to Katonga River. Now, on the Katonga River, mighty battles were fought. In fact, the Battle of Kampara was fought at Katonga. Many people did not realize this. We decided to destroy the enemy at Katonga, so that by the time we come in Kampara, he's, he will be very weak. And uh, we did it very successfully, because the enemy launched seven major offensives against us on, along the Katonga River main on two prongs. The main prong is to come through the main road, that is Mpiji, Kampiringisa, Kamengo, up to Kayabwe and Katonga. Then the subsidiary prong would come through Kaburasoke, Kanoni, up to Bugomara. We defeated both prongs, as well as the western prong, which was supposed to go from Hoima, uh, uh, cross uh, river the, the river there, uh, river Mpanga, and attack Fort Porto, and attack us from the rear. We defeated all those. Now again, it is the same army, which started with the 27 people on this same day five years ago, which was able to achieve all that. Because of defeating the enemy attempts along the Katonga River the Okero group came to the conclusion that they had to reach a peace agreement with us in Nairobi. But even then they were not honest. Because while they were talking of peace in Nairobi, as you all heard, Tito Okero said that I was a sarambwa, that is to say a dangerous snake, whose, who, whose teeth had been removed. They thought that the agreement was a means to neutralize us so that they could do whatever they wanted with the people of Uganda. And indeed they did it in Kampara here. They massacred people in the Mpiji area. They massacred people in the Masindi. They massacred people all under the slogan that Museveni's teeth have been removed, what there's nothing he can do for you, so we can do whatever we want with you, meaning the people of Uganda. 